How's it going, David and Comic Book Investment? So we're gonna look at five keys that are dropping in price. One by 90%, that is quite a lot. And one on here, I told you guys to sell. So every once in a while, I'll tell you guys when to buy or certain sell. I don't do it often, but especially if they're going up, I'm like, this is kind of the peak of this book. You should probably, if you have it, you sell it. But again, that's all subjective, right? Some people just buy because they like it and they want to keep it. So they have no intention of selling. I'm just giving you my opinion. If you want to know what I think a good time to sell it is, if you're in the business of maybe flipping comic books or you want to unload some comic books to buy other comic books, whatever it is. Or maybe you just want to keep it so you don't really care what the price is. Maybe you bought it a million years ago and it was 50 cents. And so you're happy with keeping it, which is totally fine. I'm just giving you this perspective. As always, in every single video I have, if you want to help out the channel, there's a link to uh, basically an affiliate link for eBay. If you buy anything, buy comic books, toilet paper, makes no difference. I get a kickback and then I use that money and then I get better books for you guys to do in giveaways. And I should have another giveaway coming up. So if you're already in the market of buying something on eBay, just use my link, click it before you buy something, even if it's an auction or something like that before you bid or whatever, and it'll be good to go. Or is it before you pay for it? One of those. I'm not sure exactly which one it is. But anyways, let's get right into it. All right, first is we got nice house on the lake, number one. A 9.6 is down 72%. From $90 back in 2021 to $25, and a 9.8 is down 88% from 214 at its peak when it first came out to now selling for $37. And you can look at that graph, and it's just like, dude, just ever since it's released. Um, now, let's see. I mean, it did have the disadvantage, I would say, of coming out during like the comic boom. So everyone thought during that time, speculation was at an all-time high. They thought every book ever made and ever coming out was going to get some kind of movie deal, uh, a toy made, who knows? Everything was the biggest thing in the world. It was ridiculous. Um, this, I mean, truth be told, this is my professional opinion on this book. Now, regardless of the book is great, you like it, whatever, fine, keep it. But a book like this, is always this will end up being case cost i mean it's even below case cost 37 dollars for a 98 that's below case cost but um and case cost is what it costs to have buy the book send it to cgc get a 98 it's going to run you about 40 50 dollars so this will always be like case cost or less in the future i do not see this book in 10 years time being anything more than it really is like Maybe it goes up to $80 or $100, a 9.8 in like 10 years, maybe. But it's always going to be around this. I see these types of books all the time. Um, people send in like collections and stuff. Not I'm saying Nice House on the Lake, but I'm saying like books like this, but like 10 that came out like 10, 20 years ago all the time. And I get them in and I'm just like, well, these, these aren't really worth anything. Like I would sit on it for two years hoping to get $50. So there's no way I can pay you anything close to that uh, because I'm gonna sit on for two years. It's not a hot seller. It's just gonna sit around for a long, long time. And then if you get it to me raw, uh, ungraded, it's like, okay, I could probably sell this book in like in an auction or something like that, dollar no reserve, and it'll go for like five, 10 bucks. <laughs> and then it's just like, yeah. My advice on books like this is if you like the book, just buy it. Don't get a case. There's no real point in getting a case because you're going to send it in and you get it. You better get that 9.8 or like I said, it's going to be $25. So you're going to spend 50 bucks on the book and to get it graded. Comes back a 9.6 or a 9.4. You're never going to really recoup that money. So if you really want a 9.8 and you want it for like a wall or something, you really like the book. Just know that when you buy a book like this, you're buying because you love the book is not an investment book, which is totally fine. But just know going in that most likely when you buy this, it's probably gonna pay top dollar. So when you go to sell it, you probably lose money, but that's fine because you get to have it for X amount of years and you lose a little money or maybe you break even in the end of it. But in terms of like this going to the moon, you're gonna buy this and it's gonna shoot way up there. It's not gonna happen. Next is Black Panther number two. First appearance of Shuri, a 9.4 is down 81% from 475. A 9.6 is down 90% from 880, which is so weird. I checked the math multiple times. Look at that. 
A 9.6 was at 800, a 9.4 is at 400. One dropped to 80 and one dropped to 75. Um, you would think the drop would be different between the two because you have 81% and 90%. It's just, but that's the way the math works. All right. Um, it just looks so different because the 9.4 is doubled the price. Anyways, a 9.8 is down 80% from 1300 to 256. So yeah, it's just, it's just very, very weird. Like you, it's just weird you just look at the numbers. I know the math makes sense, but I'm just looking at it. It's like, okay, one's 400, one's 800. And they dropped to about the same price, but one dropped to 90% and one dropped to like basically 80%. Anyways, nonetheless, this book, I looked at it where it was before all, before the comic book boom, before everything boom, like before this book had anything going for it because, you know, sure, he's you know, going to be in the next Black Panther, all this kind of stuff. Like way, way back in like 2019, this was selling uh, for about average of like 190. So it's pretty much back to where it was before. So this obviously this month is around like 250, um, but it's been up over the last like two, three months. It's slowly gone up a little bit, but that doesn't really mean much. So I think it's pretty much at the bottom of this book. But that being said, I do not think this is going to be the type of book that's just going to shoot to the moon or anything like that. Um, it already shot to the moon and it's gone. Now, um, there's no more moon shots for this one left. Sorry. It's like, um, well, I would say the Challenger... But that exploded. But that's not this book. I don't know. Was it the shuttle? Is that the one that got uh, discontinued? The NASA shuttle, I believe. They discontinued that. That's like this. It had its run in the sun. Now it's done. All those rhymes. All right. Next, we got Booster Gold number one. Nine four is down 39% from 188 to 114. A 9.6 is down 76% from 260 to 63. And a 9.8 is down 64% from 798 to 288. But if you look at there, they all peaked in February of this year. So this is the book I said in the beginning of the video that I was like, you should sell. Because I did a video probably back in February when I think James Gunn announced that they're going to do a Booster Gold movie, which I think is pretty cool. Because I like the fact that James Gunn's like, Okay, we, we've done the normal characters. What about all these weird, interesting characters? And that's what I like, because that makes it more interesting. Um, but I said, if you have a copy, eh, you should sell it. Now, you should only sell it if, you, if you're like, you don't want it, you don't really care if you have it, or you want to move it for a different book or something like that, right? I'm not saying if you love Booster Gold that you should just sell it because I said so. Keep it. Who cares, right? Um, but if you're trying to maximize your dollars, I guess, and you don't really care about Booster Gold, um, then yeah, I guess that would be the time. Now, it was very plainly obvious that it was going to drop because Booster Gold is not going to come out for four years, maybe, the movie. So during that time, there's no way that people could keep the hype going. So the hype comes out because the movie and or the potential movie is might not get made. And then it's just dropped ever since um, and it'll just float around somewhere right where it is. All right, next we've got Batman 171, First Silver Age Riddler. A 3 0 down 62% from 725 to 273. A 5 0 down 35% from 1200 to 780. And a 6 5 down 43% from 1500 to 850. So obviously, a comic boom, but then movie came out, stuff like that. So it's, it's really not, I mean, it's down a little bit, but not compared to the other ones that we showed before. Um, do I think this is a fine book? I do think it's a fine book. Um, the Riddler didn't have too many appearances in the Golden Age, so this is kind of like, um, like, I don't know, like a, I don't, I don't even want to say fourth, it might even be fifth, I don't know. It's an early appearance, let's just put it that, not early, early in terms of just like how many times he's appeared. Um, I really don't know what it is to be honest, but it's not that many. I think he appeared in Detective 140 and 142. And I honestly can't think of another one he appeared in, in the Batman and Detective run that I can think of off the top of my head. Um, I'm sure someone will correct me. I can't think of him appearing at all ever in uh, World's Finest in the uh, Golden Age, unless it was like, a, like they'd have multiple stories and it wasn't one of the main stories. I can't think of him appearing in any Golden Age. 
other characters book like Green Lantern or Wonder Woman in the Golden Age. He might have had another appearance in the Golden Age before this one. But I really don't know. Uh, I'd have to actually do some research on it because I, really, I just thought of this now. So it's not like I think of what I'm going to say before I come on here so I could research it. So maybe someone in the comments can let me know. Is this like his third or fourth appearance ever, the Riddler? Uh, he had Detective 140 and 142. And then... This one? Probably another one. All right. Next, we got Savage Tales, number one. First appearance, man thing. Uh, a four five is down only 10% from 500 to 450. Peaked in 2022 for that 500. A nine two is down 55% from 2500 to 1136. And this one's funny. Uh, a nine eight is down 69% uh, from 37,000 to now selling for 11,500. Now, Whoever paid thirty-seven thousand, dum 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 dum. Now let me rephrase that. If you really wanted the book, and you don't really care about getting a good deal over paying, fine, by all means, pay whatever you want. Uh, but if you're buying this because you think it's a good deal, or um, you, I don't know, like you, you think you're gonna sell it for more, that's the dum dum. But if you're like, I just like Man Thing or Savage Tales or whatever Conan. And I don't really care that I overpay because the reality of this book, it only comes up maybe once a year, maybe once every two years, right? So there's been two this year and then the last one was in 2021 and it was like 2020 and yeah, so it doesn't come up that often. There's 21 nine eights um, graded. Now at the time of 2021, when that person paid 37,000, maybe there was a few less, maybe there was only 19 in a nine eight. But it's common enough where you're going to get it once a year. But maybe that person, the two people bidding on it, because it was through Heritage, the two people bidding on it were like, I don't care. I don't want to wait. I don't want to wait a year. And then when it does come in a year, I have to hunt down every single auction. And that's another thing. It's like maybe these people were like, look, I'm not going to go to Comic Link, eBay, uh, Comic Connect, uh, Pedigree, uh, you know, whatever, Hakes, Heritage, eBay every single day to check to see if I want this book, the Savage Tales, this is what I want, if it's on there. So when it does pop up and I see it, I'm just going to go for it. Maybe that's their thinking. And two people had the same thinking and it went up to 37,000. Now, the previous sales of this book before that 2021, the one right before it, like six months before it, uh, sold for about 9,000. The one right before that was about 8,500, 8,200. So it went up slightly. So then, so you're going around eight to nine grand. And then all of a sudden, it shoots up to 37. The next one didn't sell until the beginning of this year. So like two years later, and it sold for 15,000, I think. And then this one just sold for 11,000. So obviously trending down. But still, even if like you get rid of that 37,000, it would go up from nine to 15 to 11. That's still within the range of like possibility. But the, the 37,000 is just, I don't know. I'm not going to judge people what they choose to spend their money on. But in terms of a good deal, this was not. Have a good day.